Selkop's Chorus and Theater brings you a tribute to Black History Month. Lift every voice and sing. So anyway, I'm off for looking. Then all of a sudden, I'm called smack dead in an explosion. A burning, scalding, blinding explosion. It must have been a booby trap. It's fire all around me. Hell, I'm on fire. Like a piece of chicken dropped in this cra crackling grease. Listen to me now. I say I have been wrong, son. That I have been doing to you what the rest of the world has been doing to you. Walter, what you ain't never understood is, I ain't got nothing, don't own nothing, and ain't never really wanted nothing that wasn't for you. There ain't nothing that's precious to me. There ain't nothing worth holding on to. Money, dreams, nothing else. If it means, if it means it's gonna destroy you, my boy. I paid the man $3,500 down on the house. Well, Mr. Linder, we called you because, well, me and my family, we are very plain people. I mean, I've worked as a chauffeur most of my life, and my wife here, she does domestic work in people's Good morning, Eagles. I'm John, and I'm sitting here for Marissa. I'm Austin, and I'm sitting here for Courtney. Here's an interview with some of South Cobb's football players that signed to college. Um, Stephon Marshall. Liberty University. What's going on? My name is Chancy Ingram, and I'll be going to University of Tennessee Martin next fall. What's up? I'm JT Alphabet, and I'm signed to Indiana State University. Um, it feels good to be one of the biggest signing classes in South Carolina history. You know, um, me and my boys, um, Jeremiah and Chancy, we've been thinking about this since freshman year, signing day, what college we're going to go to, and now it's here. So, and basically a dream come true for us and it's gonna I mean it's what we did it's 2013 you know I knew we was gonna make it big do it big this year so I feel accomplished well uh, it feels good we've worked hard for this since freshman year me and my bros and that's what we wanted and this we did it well, I'm, I'm gonna prepare myself um, I'm gonna start working hard probably by the end of March um, Monday Wednesday, Friday, basically probably every day, you know, just getting ready because there's some big boys up there, so you got to do what you got to do to get ready for the college ball. I mean, I'm running track, so I'm getting faster, and I'm going to work out with um, my fellow teammate next year from Marietta, so we're going to do that. I'm running track right now, and I'm working hard with my trainer, and they sent me some stuff uh, to do, so get it in with that. Sign up for a table for the International Festival in room 118E. The deadline is March 22nd. Ladies, the 2013 Young Women's Conference will be Friday, March 15th. This year's theme is The Glamorous Life. Registration is $12 and will include dinner, workshops, t-shirts, and much more. See Ms. Gibson in room A203 for more information. Here's an interview with some of our senior basketball players. So uh, overall, it wasn't like the season that I expected, but we still did some good things. Um, overall, our season was cool, you know. Ups and downs. Yeah, we lost it the worst way possible, though. Off some bull. But um, <laughs> I mean, it's cool. That's how it happens sometimes. I had fun this season. Got a lot of memories. Had a lot of fun. This season ended horrible. Shout out to Coach Motri. My boy. And, and Anderson. I like him. And Coach Dixon. Uh, I had a good season with my senior boys. Um, it didn't close how I wanted it to close. We had a lot of good memories out in Florida and Tiff County. That's it.
seniors, if you would like a community service cord for graduation, have your community service logs turned into Ms. Paul by February 27th. No logs will be accepted after this date. Eagle TV brings you a movie survey with some of our students. Shaheem, I'm from Eagle TV Music and More. This week we did a survey on the top five movies out the box office. Here are your results. Do you know what a bounty hunter is? You kill people. At least I'm conflicted about it. Nice watch. Huh? Here's a continuation of Eagle TV's Prom History. Just like when I talk to you every day, every time I see your pretty face, I get the feeling that these simple words can't embrace. I feel kind of bad this is going to run short because my pen can't explain it, but my heart knows your worth. And I still wonder whether it was meant for me to have the pleasure of knowing you. But enough of that now, I think my intentions are clear to see, and now I wonder what your answer would be, Alana, when you go to prom with you. Yes. <laughs> Here's this week's short film. Please do not attempt anything shown in this video. Are you ready for this? Not really. You'll be fine. Chris, we have something to tell you. <laughs> that went well. You threw up and we both left. Nah, that's all in the past. It was literally 30 seconds ago. That's a matter of opinion. No, it isn't. Let's try again. Chris, we have something to tell you. I called for myself, didn't I? Don't do it again. Look, you take the lead this time. Chris! I'm from the future. Quick, tell him it's chubby. You're ugly. You can't even get that right. Mom, Dad, I'm pregnant. Wrong! I hope. Chris, you see, the thing is, Jenny and I now are just killed. Chris, you see, the thing is, I love... No, please, Thomas, please Thomas. just let me no, kill him. No, Thomas, tell him we can't make no, out. No. I'm really bad at this, aren't I? Yeah, Chris is never going to find out about us. Oh, that's what we're doing. Chris, I know this is hard for you to hear, but I'm dating your sister. Yeah, that's okay. Here's Alana with our weekly weather and Lauren and Jason with our current events. Good morning, South Cobb. I'm Alana Jackson for Eagle Weather. And it looks like we are starting off our weekend with rain and ending it with sunny, clear skies. Today we'll have cold rain at 46 degrees. Saturday we will also have rain at 61 degrees, and for Sunday we will have cloudy skies at 63 degrees. This is Lon Jackson for Eagle Weather. I'm Jason Howard. And I'm Lorian Lackey. And this is Current Events. This week in Current Events, an Olympic track runner was accused of murder. Paralympic Olympic track star Oscar Pistorian was accused of murdering his girlfriend early Valentine's Day morning. The circumstances of this incident is still unclear, but he allegedly shot after being startled and mistaking the model for a thief. Oscar is currently on trial, so his verdict is undetermined. In international news, a meteor has hit Russia. Early February 15th, a meteor flew across the sky above Russia's Ural Mountains. The 50-foot space rock exploded, causing injuries to over 1,000 people and damaging several buildings in the region. This Russian meteor strike has been the largest event since 1908, when another space rock struck a forest in Siberia. Here's some highlights from the last game of the season against McEachern.
Here are Jamar and Vontae with our Eagle TV Sports Corner. I'm Devontae. And I'm Jamar. And this is Eagle TV Sports Corner. All-star break for the NBA was a success with Terrence Ross winning the dunk contest and Kyrie Irving winning the three-point contest. As far as the game, the East and West, they fought it out hard, but the West came out on top with Chris Paul being the MVP. And um, what kind of matchups we got for Friday, Jamar? Friday's matchups, we got Timberwolves versus OKC, 8 o'clock. OKC going to get that one. Yeah, OKC. And then 10.30, we got Spurs versus Warriors. What do you got? I got the Spurs winning. All right, that's it for Sports Corner. I'm Devontae. And I'm Jamar. We out. Remember, if you have any Eagle TV requests, email us at eagletvschs at gmail.com. Or follow us on Twitter at eagletvschs. I'm John. And I'm Austin. Have, have a great, great day. day. Start it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Go here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here.